One of the most important facts for any website is to be able to load data quickly and asynchronously without delaying page rendering. These capabilities are the ones that raises the JSON importance nowadays. So JSON is one of the cool data formats for accessing, storing and comprehending data. JSON syntax is very easy to use. You can parse the JSON data in a matter of seconds. Since its syntax is very small and light weighted, it executes the response in the faster way. It has the wide range of supported browser compatibility with the operating systems. So the application made with the coding of JSON doesn't require much effort to make it all browser compatible. Now, because JSON stores the data in the arrays, so data transfer with JSON is much easier. And this is the reason JSON is superior format for the web APIs and for web development. All right, JSON maps very easily onto the data structures used by the most programming languages like numbers, strings, booleans, nulls, arrays, etc., etc. Now, given that it was originally based on a subset of JavaScript, so of course it's supported natively by JavaScript. However, it is language independent. In general, JSON is supported by nearly all major programming languages like Java, C Sharp, Objective C, and so on and so forth. All right, now as a developer, we have used JSON in many websites, mobile applications, REST APIs, databases, and much more. But it has some pros and cons also. As we know that JSON is compact and human readability is great for debugging and monitoring purpose. JSON has really good tooling support. You can easily find any third party editing tools for editing the JSON, but it makes a poor choice for large production data. It doesn't have a schema, which can sometimes lead to errors being introduced accidentally. It has no error handling for JSON calls. Next is JSON has limited supported data types. For example, there is no specific data types for date and time. Another one is if you are dumping the data into a flat files, your system has no real support for concurrently accessing those files. You would have to implement that logic all that yourself. And the last one is JSON is not fully secure. It can be quite dangerous when used with untrusted services because a JSON service return a JSON response wrapped in a function call, which will be executed by the caller application. And if it will be used from untrusted sources, then it can be hacked. And as a result, it makes your application vulnerable. 